There are three kinds of uh, magic in the world or changing vibrations. One is by thought, the other one is by word, and the other one is by deed or action. Now, what we want to do and accomplish is change the vibration. Once you change the vibration, you're changing the feeling. You're changing the feeling, all the circumstances, all the situations in our lives will change. So you can do it by thought, you can do it by word, like prayer, and you can do it by, um, by doing a certain ceremony that will activate or will trigger some kind of change in vibration. For example, if you dance, you're changing your feeling because you can't dance properly unless you're feeling something like happiness or lightness or something like that. Even if you feel heavy and you start dancing, maybe not in the beginning, but after a while you will feel better. That means you're changing your feeling, but you're changing also the vibration of the body. So what I suggest is a combination of the three of them. To take the thought, to take the word, and to take the action or the deed, uh, the motion of the physical body, and to combine them into a movement that will change and will transform everything, the thought, the word, and the, the vibrational body. So this is what I call channel movement. And the channel movement is not coming from me, it is being channeled through me. That means that I'm channeling thoughts, I'm saying the words that I need to express the intent and I'm moving the body according to the required vibration or the required um, change of uh, waves that I'm trying to achieve. And this works like a miracle, it works like, uh, like magic. And when that happens, everything, all this movement, all these thoughts, all this uh, activation of, of different vibration that I'm accustomed to is becoming a change of reality. It can be in small things like only a different feelings, but it can also be a, a change of a whole different reality that I cannot explain how it works, but I'm just, uh, I'm just a witness to the fact that it does work. So when I do channel movement, it's very, very different from the activation of, say, martial art. Like when I do martial art, I'm using a very strong intent and I'm changing the energy as, as in the forms, but it does not really uh, achieve the final goal in such speed as much as I want to, as in uh, accessing different realities, different dimensions inside of me that I uh, want to accomplish, or I want to express, or I want to uh, experience. The channel movement is not coming from me. It's coming from the upper world, or what we call guided uh, uh, light entities, or, uh, or uh, guiding uh, spirits, or it doesn't matter the name. Uh, what does matter is the fact that it's coming from a source that is above human, and the wisdom there is uh, cannot be comprehended uh, because because it's, it's really hard to explain. But anyway, um, this kind of wisdom is multidimensional. This kind of wisdom is beyond the human uh, capability to understand. But we, it, it is in our capability in our capability to uh, uh, to feel and to. Uh, manifest and to experience uh, in our lives and then it changes you and uh, it makes you like a vessel to uh, very subtle frequencies that are spacing into you and transform your whole being I'm sure that in any any religion uh, maybe the Sufis, maybe uh, any mystical person that ever lived experienced something like that or similar to it or maybe above it, I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm only me and I have to use the, the tools that I have. And this is the most advanced tool that I can offer, suggest and uh, recommend because uh, it's a combination of the three kinds of uh, magic that is known to man 
into a lively experience, a lively um, well, I, 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 can't, I cannot find the word for it, but uh, it is uh, it's quite remarkable and I'm just saying it's wonderful. Come and try, come and see.